talking about a team that is on a hot streak right now, seven and three in their last 10, the Toronto Raptors got all, all of their COVID guys back. They played the two games ago. They played their first game of the season with their entire roster that they came into the season with. That's the first time. And they look awesome. The chemistry has been unbelievable. The passing has been crazy, crazy good, especially Pascal Siakam and, and Van Vliet. Um, they're winning games when guys like OG and Scotty are having off games. And a large, large part of that is Pascal Siakam, who is playing at an all-star level again, but even more so than him, Fred Van Vliet, who is, if you don't have him in your all-star team, I, at this point, I think you're crazy yeah. because he is playing the best basketball of his career coming off of a 37, 10 and 10, his first career triple double. Crazy man, Pascal Rodman. He's just he's just diving. He's putting <laughs> yeah. his whole body into the rebounding. He's defensively like he's just owning that thing. Like yo, I gotta be the center for this team. I gotta rebound the ball. Like I gotta you know switch. I gotta play hard. I gotta set a. I gotta send a message to like OG and you know the rookie Scotty Barnes. Like hey, like we gotta play hard. We gotta move hard as the front court. We gotta be a tandem, a trio. You know what I mean? Get everything rolling. Kevin Birch. People yep. underestimate how big of an impact he does because he just comes in he's solid, man. It's solid. He does his job. Rebounds, little pot shots here and there. Solid. Like, that's exactly what you need as a backup center. And that's exactly what we get. He's finally back from his knee injury. That's amazing to have on our team. And then, obviously, the guy who's made the All Star push, Fred All Star. He heard every single time in the commentary watching the games. He's just made this push where he's entered the level of these guys that are like all-star guards because he's just putting up 30 points consistently. He's taking over quarters. He had the best quarter in recent Raptors history, that third quarter against the Utah Jazz where he scored 17 straight points. Amazing. And he just, just crazy from three right now, man. Like he's just becoming one of the best three point shooters, one of the best drivers. It's still an elite point guard defender. Like I know all the point guards don't like going up against him. He still gets in there, gets steals, gets blocks. Man, he's just he's just a two-way player who's scoring like 24 points a game. Like that's an all-star. It's insane. Like I, I know obviously we're biased, but if I were I haven't really put any thought into this, but if I were naming the top point guards of the season so far, I don't think you could get too far down without naming Fred no. Van Fleet. Like he is 21.7, five boards, six point eight assists on 44% from the field at his height. Uh, like his his stature, forty over forty percent from three and eighty nine percent from the line. In the last month, he's twenty seven a game, five boards and eight assists. He's getting better as the season goes on. Um, uh, he, he I don't remember the last time he had a bad game. He's just yeah. been the model of consistency, and I, I I truly didn't expect this coming into the season. Yeah, and if you look at the standings, like the Bulls are the number one team. They got two All Stars. Nets got two All Stars. He got an all-star in Jimmy Butler. Bucks got an all-star in Giannis. Sixers got an all-star in Embiid. Yep. Cavs got an all-star in Jared Allen. Yep. And it's the Raptors. Everyone in front of them has an all-star. Yeah. The Raptors are an all-star too. Like we have the seeding. They're on a five-game win streak. They're a couple games behind the six-seeded Cavaliers. Uh, and our best player deserves a spot to make that all-star game. And if you look at the media, I actually do see a lot of the media saying Fred Van is an all-star. So that's good to see. It kind of seems like Fred just needs to continue playing this way for the next couple of weeks. Even with a slight reduction, it just seems like Fred Van is an all-star. The Raptors have made that push because they were 14 and 17 before. Then at 14 and 17, you're not getting an all-star. But they won five straight, 19 and 17, seventh seed. Fred Van is an all-star. No, no question about it. No question right now. We when we when we did our, our quarter season all stars, we had like debate between Randall and Fred. Yeah. And you you said, you know, we, we gotta see come all stars. Seating time, is we gotta see what the seating is. You know, that right now they're even. If the Raptors go up and the Knicks go down a little bit, then it'll be Fred, and that's exactly what's exactly happening. Exactly what happened, right? Yeah. So so uh, I think you would agree with me right now that Fred yeah. is an all star. And um talking about Pascal, I think I think this is the first time since pre-pandemic since before March of 2020 that he has been fully in shape, fully healthy and like fully like up to NBA speed because we, if you remember he got injured right before the pandemic and then everything shut down and then um, he was 
obviously horrible, horrible in the bubble, but he uh, he's the kind of guy like we talked about feeding off the crowd energy. Now they're playing in an empty stadium again, but their yeah. away games are their away games are not empty stadiums. Um, and then he got COVID last season, lost 15 pounds and was was not good. He had a nagging shoulder injury, got off season shoulder surgery, missed training camp this year, missed uh, the preseason, missed the first few games of the season. Um, had to take that time to kind of get up to speed. And now I think he's fully up to speed. In yeah. the month of January, only four games granted. He's 22 points a game, nine boards, almost six assists, and he's yeah. shooting 50% from three. And like you said, he's making all the energy plays, the rebounding, getting into the paint like he used to, um, and he's just been ultra-efficient, hitting mid-range uh, shots at a better clip than I've ever seen him hit, and he's he's looking like all-star Pascal again. Yeah, and he won't make an all-star game this year because he only got one all-star spot probably as a seven seed. Yeah, That's going to be fair Van Lee, but... What takes what also like isn't noticed is his role changed massively from last season to this season. Yeah. yeah. Like he was playing with Aaron Baines and Kevin Bridge. They were always turning at center. And now with Scotty Burns in, we were asked, you know, Pascal Siakam, you have to play center. And it took him a while to get adjusted to that, right? Yeah. How am I going to take on, you know, having a bigger opponent, having someone bigger to guard, having someone slower guarding me? And it seems like he's just getting adjusted to that. He's figuring it out, and he's figuring out this like front court, front court by committee type system that we have. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where we have Scotty sometimes switching on centers, we have OG sometimes switching on the centers, right? So it took a while to figure out, but he's getting it. His health is back. Everything was good. He said he was fully asymptomatic during his last COVID uh, little reach that he had, and he said he didn't lose any weight or his body didn't go through massive changes. So that was good. And it's finally figuring out from how Lee has took this next step where he's an all-star lock. We still have two other 20-point scorers in OG and Pascal Siakam. We have the rookie of the year in Scotty Bynes. We have Gary Chan Jr. playing elite defense, trying to make that push for our all-NBA second-team defense. Man, the Raptors are back, and it looks like a fun young team that's going to be right in that play-in six seed, trying to go for that. And it's definitely fun and fun to watch. Yeah, I'll I'll even take that a step further. I, I think if if they're all fully, fully, fully healthy, and you have Fred Van Vliet, Gary in the backcourt, and then the like you said, front court by committee with the OG. the main guys being OG, Pascal, Scotty, Cambridge playing awesome with um Boucher having Boucher. a good game here and there, right? Yeah. And uh, Precious sometimes having a good game. Uh, and then you throw in like Utah Watanabe, and then like Delano Banton, and and the Raptors have like an eight, nine man rotation that yeah. they can ride the hot hand. If there's guys not playing well, they can make up for it. They can go bigger if they want with Kim Birch. And there's just a lot of ways they can go. And I'm looking at the standings right now. I don't think they're in that Miami, Milwaukee tier, obviously, but Cleveland, Philly. They're definitely I think, reachable. I think they could, I think they're definitely on par with those teams, if not better, if when they're fully healthy. Yeah. And I just hope they kind of get that six seed because I think versing like Kyle Lowry in the first round, Oh, would just be so amazing to see yeah because like we had tickets for the Kyle Lowry return game but sadly that's going to be played at an empty stadium so it'll be amazing to see a first round matchup where yeah. Kyle Lowry returns to a full crowd yeah when uh I, I when when uh the Clippers came to town and they were playing in the empty stadium and they showed that Serge Ibaka uh tribute on the yeah. video board and there was no one in there and he wasn't even watching because like the, there was he, he was no reaction there, like wave to the fans or anything that was just yeah. so sad and it's I hope I hope they just hold off on the Kyle Lowry festivities until like he actually plays in front of a crowd. In front of a crowd, but I don't know. It just sucks because you had tickets and, and obviously that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, that's what early February. It's like February first. February first, yeah. No chance. No chance. Yeah. I I was close to kind of giving up on them as as being in a, the playoff mix, just kind of looking towards the future earlier. So it's it's good yeah. to see them back back in form. Yeah, a lot of people are saying trade Pascal Siakam for picks and yeah, you know, yeah. just kind of like rebuild around Scotty, get those picks back for Pascal, draft like a center, stuff like that. But now, yeah. I think now none of the Raptors fans really want to trade Pascal anymore. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here so you never miss the best clips from Stretch the Floor. Hit the links in the description below to find us on all podcast platforms and follow us on Instagram.